Hi guys, Jennifer S. Franahan here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about what to ask cash buyers once you start getting calls from them. Okay? Either from your bandit signs or, you know, people from RIA meetings that you're going to, um, or however they're coming into your sphere. These are the basic questions that you want to ask. Okay? Because I know I'm getting some emails from newbies asking, what do I ask? What do I look for? And, um, I just don't want you guys to be afraid to call them. Okay. Cause essentially, again, you're helping them. You're giving them a deal. That's going to put money in their pocket. Okay. Potentially you're going to give them a deal that puts money in their pocket. So trust me, they, they want to talk to you. They want to be on your email list. Okay. So it's more like help you help them. Okay. So, okay. First question. First ask them what types of properties they're interested in. Okay. Are they interested in single family? Are they interested in multifamily? Um, and ask them to get as specific as possible. Okay. Cause the more specific they get, the better you are able to help them. Okay. Cause I'm finding in a, a new market that I'm working in right now, I found out that most of the investors prefer, prefer brick in a market that I'm working in and actually a market that I'm coaching a student in both of these markets prefer brick. One market is Chicago and the other market is Detroit. Um, I live on Long Island and most of the houses are frame. The majority are frame. So, you know, investors don't really care if it's brick or frame. Um, but over there they prefer brick. So ask them the, the more specific you get, the better for you, the better for them. Okay. Cause you're going to find what they're looking for. So know that ask them what their budget is. Okay. Ask them if they have the ability to pay with all cash. Ask them if, if the title is clear, can they close in 30 days or less? Okay. That's very important because as a wholesaler, if you're doing fast cash transactions as a wholesaler, you do want the buyer that has the capacity to close with cash fast. And if they are a seasoned investor, this is not a big deal for them. In fact, they'll, a lot of times they'll tell you I could close in seven, eight days, as long as the title is clear. They want to close as soon as possible because they want to start rehabbing the project so they could get their return on their investment. Okay. Um, Ask them if they're into gut rehabs or just cosmetic, okay? The more seasoned investor is going to be fine with a gut. If it's more of a newer investor or, you know, someone that does, you know, maybe two or three a year, they're probably going to want cosmetic. But don't guess. Just ask. Never assume. Ask, okay? So you can put it in your database. Um, ask them what their best telephone or email is to contact them. You add them to your list. And also ask them if they lend money. Okay. Maybe they could be a private money lender. Maybe they could partner with you on a deal. You never know. You just have to ask. Okay. Um, and ask them if they have any prop, ask them if they have any properties that I just realized that I don't, my wedding band, I put the wrong ring on. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, where did the diamonds go on this wedding band? Anyway, that's why you saw my reaction. So let's keep it moving. Um, do they lend money? Um, ask them if they lend money. You never know. They might be able to partner with you on something. And, oh, and that's where I was. And also if you ask them if they have any properties that they want to sell, maybe you could wholesale a deal for them. You know, you just, you never know what, what you, you know, a cash buyer could turn into a private lender, can turn into a partner, can turn into someone who has a property that, you know, you want, you could potentially wholesale for them. So the more criteria you ask for, the better, keep it simple. Don't get scared. Remember you're there to help them essentially. And they want to be on your list. They want that deal that's going to give them the spread that they're looking for. You know, I would say ask them what, what return they generally want, but what you could still do, ask them for the return they generally want. But at the end of the day, when inventory is low, um, they're not going to get exactly what they want. You know what I mean? So they'll still take a deal that they're not making their return that they're used to making, as long as they're still having deals in their pipeline and rehabbing them and making a, um, a return on their investment. Okay. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be exact, still present any deals you have that are close to their criteria to them. It doesn't have to be exact. Let them decline the deal because you don't know the criteria that they're giving you is an outline of an ideal deal for them. Okay. If it has, you know, maybe five aspects or six aspects or three, they may still go for it. You know what I mean? So let them decline a deal. Don't make the decision for them because essentially you could be, you know, 
you essentially you could be making the decision for them when in retrospect they would have been like, oh, I would have gotten that deal, but you didn't present it to them. So how would they know? Okay. So that's it. That's simply put cash bar. Those are the questions. So if you guys have any um, questions, comment below. Um, any action takers are interested in mentoring. I have an action oriented mentorship. Um, shoot me an email, put my email below. I will put all these cash bar questions below as well. So if you didn't write them down, they will be below for you to refer to. And, um, that's pretty much it. If, again, if you guys have any other questions, let me know and I will answer them. I love the back and forth. I love all the emails I'm getting. Um, I love that you guys are loving the content. You're helping me with more content by your questions. And, um, I just love it. So to your success, keep going. If you get stuck, keep going, make you push yourself to keep going. If you're afraid, do it anyway. Okay. Cause that's how you're going to succeed. That's how you're going to learn. All right. And, um, have a good day guys to your success. Peace out. And don't forget to subscribe. That's right. If you want my updates and my good content, you must subscribe. Okay. Have a good day guys. Peace out.